I'm off to see Philip Brown of Phil's Farm in County Armagh. He inherited his parents' 17 acre farm, but needed to turn his hobby into a money-making venture. His hobby, a small collection of animals. His idea, to create a mobile petting farm. And how many bookings could you do in a day? I wouldn't want to do any more than two. You're animal. not turning bookings down, are you? Um, at the minute, I, I, ha I have had to. My concern was that Phil would not be prepared to go all out to fulfill his business potential. I want to ask you a very simple question. Is your Phil's farm just for you, just to put bread on the table? Or are you a bit more ambitious? Do you want to spread your wings? Do you want to really grow a business? No, I, I want to get a business out of it. It's not, at the minute, it's, it's just, it's taken over. Shall There's, I tell you what my plan is? Yes. Okay. What I'd like you to do is to rent a barn on a farm somewhere, to open a branch office one in Donegal, or in Dundalk, or I don't know, yeah. Sligo, with you providing the livestock, and suddenly, before you know where you are, you've got, I don't know, five or six, and you're running Overseas a real world. business. Yeah. My idea was to get Phil to rebrand something more generic, something that would lend itself to a franchising operation. So I introduced him to graphic designer Mark Thompson in a bid to make Phil understand just how broad those marketing opportunities are. There's great creativity, yeah. certainly there is, but we're still, Phil's still there. Just think ahead 10 years when you might want sort of to exit. And I just want to make it easier to exit. You know? There's another way okay. which could solve the problem. The brand name Farmtastic. There's the potential with a name like that, where you could start in the initial number of years as Phil's Farmtastic, but then as it grows, you simply just drop off Phil's and it's, it becomes Farmtastic alone. I simply could not get Phil to move fast on anything, and I suddenly realised it wasn't a resistance to change. It was because he was up to here, running the business, operational matters, and it was time for him to actually stand back, loosen the reins off, and delegate. I'd arranged for Phil to launch Phil's farm at the big St. Patrick's Day parade in Monaghan, and I fully expected to see a new truck with Farmtastic plastered across it and bags of merchandising. Let's have a look at the Jeep. You haven't seen Phil's it Phil's farm. Yeah. What about that global branding we were talking about? Oh, I've got it. It's in here too. I've got it in oh, up here. Oh, you've look. tucked it up the front. Oh, I. You're beginning quietly with the Farmtastic. Oh, we're, we're getting there. We're going to break it in slowly. Look what a difference that makes. This. Well, it doesn't say anything to me. Phil had the makings of a fun little business, and I'd like to see what he's been up to since I last saw him. Is he now Dr. Doolittle, or, as I suspect, Dr. Do Nothing? Phil, how are you? Thanks. Great to see you. We talked about branding. It's amazing. Good That's done, a change. Good I remember done. the little trailer. You can't mess it by anyway. So business is coming on. Business is booming at the minute. And have on. you released the reins a bit? Well, loosened your hold? Delegated to a certain extent, but still I have to keep keep an yeah. eye on things But too. managing growth is a difficult yeah. thing. Talking about growing, have you expanded the range? How's the zoo, the menagerie, the farm? Going well. Do you want to have a look and see some? Yeah, yeah. love it. No chimpanzees, I suppose. <laughs> Not yet, anyhow. Crocodiles? I've met this little chap before, the alpaca. Yeah? yeah? This is, this is Joe. Joe. Brilliant. Yeah. Lovely. What else have you got? Anything new? We've brought in two meerkats now. Itchy and Scratchy. <laughs> which are a big hit at the minute, they are. Mm. Then we have two new wallabies as well. And then, of course, then at Christmas time, we've an extra two reindeer. We've now got four. Seasonal, but my word, when it's their season, you make hay. We have uh, some fairly big news as well. From the last time you're here, I've, since then, I've, I've purchased a new property. With oh, really? A new farm. So it's Phil's Farms. I'll take you over and I'll let you have a look at it My yourself. Word. This is very good, isn't it? So tell me this, so then, the original farm, all right, the problem there was access. 
so you couldn't have visitors. So you bought this place, you've got a riding facility, you've got a big barn there. Yeah, with a big you've shed. You've got access, so you can bring school buses in. Schools, birthday parties, different fun days. It's just an idea to add, and add something else that we can, we can, we can do. Um, you seem to have added quite a lot of staff, actually, yeah. Phil. We have, we have 12 staff and myself now. We have for, to be able to run to run all the units that we have now that we can run in one all day. All the units? We now do up to four events now in one day. So you've got the four units going out there. You've made an investment in this place. Same and this well. is all funded out of trading? The mobile farm, to be honest, is doing well. We went from being just a mobile farm in, in Ireland um, to being the biggest mobile farm covered now the whole of Ireland. There was I saying Phil doesn't do much. Yeah. And Phil actually quietly does quite a lot. You've surprised me a bit. Take something, doesn't it, to surprise you? It might have been a shaky start for Phil, but once he got his head round it, once he started motoring, well, there's been no stopping him. I reckon a couple of years' time, he'll be right across this country. Phil's farms everywhere.